Hello our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek in my personal experiences. This is a channel that is designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. In this ultimate guide for grade 11, term 1 work, I'm looking at the equations and inequalities. That's where we are now. Equations and inequalities. Now you are wondering what happened to sets and exponents. For this one, I'll say watch previous videos. All right. Previous uh, videos, that's where you're going to find them. So there is a lot of stuff. That's why you guys must subscribe. If you're not subscribed, well, it's up to you. But if you check the previous videos, I've got almost four videos on exponents and sets. But now equations and inequalities. Let's begin the lesson with, you know, whenever you're talking about equation, you know, it's solved for x. Now, this is the starting point, the basics, mainly from your grade 10, but very, very important section. Now, let's look at this and take our time here to say solve for x. Uh, now, you've got different approaches and everything, but let's look at simple things uh, given that. Let's look at 1.1. It says you're given 2x and then x minus 3 is equal to 0 what not to do please don't open the bracket you know don't open that bracket no 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 the answer is already by the corner why is it you just say either 2x is equal to 0 or that bracket x minus 3 equal to 0 that's all then you divide by 2 here divide by 2 you don't need to do it but you can still do it because already since it's equal to zero it means x is equal to zero in such equations definitely x will be equal to zero or something what about the second one take minus three to the other side it was negative it will become positive so x is equal to what x is equal to three that's why it's two max the answer is done that's what is uh you need to do first one Difficult? No. Let's look at the second one. 1.2. What is 1.2? It says here we are given uh, x squared minus 3x is equal to 0. Again, look, be very, very sensitive. Don't, don't be, um, what I can say, confused. Look, if you are given for example a x squared plus b x like this remember usually is plus c is equal to zero but if they remove this and they're just given a x plus b x is equal to zero look you factorize take out x so that you are saying from x squared you are left with a x inside that b you are going to have plus b it's more like you're cancelling is equal to zero then we are having it this is similar to that are you with me so look at it same thing here to here what you have x is common so you say x put a bracket now x into x squared is more like you're saying you are cancelling one x is x times x you cancel one x so that you're left with x are you seeing that that's what it means so x into x squared is equal to x and then x into that is minus 3. You see that? So it's minus 3 is equal to 0. Another thing to check, you say x times x, it's x squared. x times that is that. So that's what I'm saying. And then from there, we're back into this scenario, you see? So you're going to say either x is equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0. So this one goes there. Therefore, x is equal to 3. So that is done. That's it. Difficult? Not really. Next one, 1 1.3. What is 1.3? It says here, um, you are given, in this case, 1.3. It says x 
plus 1 and then x minus 1 over 2 this is equal to 0 again okay? not difficult you take the first bracket you say x plus 1 equal to 0 or take the second bracket x minus 1 over 2 is equal to 0 now positive 1 jump the equal sign becomes what negative so x is equal to minus 1 again negative half jump the equal sign x is equal to 1 over 2 all right if you want to test it you take a calculator where there is minus 1 here you put minus 1 you put minus 1 start with one of them don't say minus 1 and half at the same time so if you want to test you can you get a calculator and say okay if x was minus 1 it will be like this minus 1 plus 1 close the bracket and then minus 1 minus half all right then after that you close the bracket equal to it must give you a zero left hand side you see that was also zero that's it guys you can test also with the other one but that's it what was that 1.3 what about 1.4 look at this one it says now pay attention on this one 2x squared minus 18 is equal to 0 pay attention on this one now it's also more like remember it's a x squared plus b x plus c equal to 0 so what they knocked off is this guy now see that that's what they did and then they left a x squared and c so that's what they did here and when you are given it like this when you're given it like this there are two options you can do take this minus 18 to the other side it's negative it to become positive so you've got 2x squared is equal to positive 18 then after that this 2 is the one disturbing you you divide by 2 divide by 2 right so what you have you have got x squared is equal to 2 into 18 is 9 now how do you get rid of that square what you do is you square root but what you do on the right you do on the left now please be careful and b when you square root you say plus or minus always when you put a square root you say plus or minus so that you're going to say x is equal to square root of 9 is plus or minus 3 what you're trying to say you are saying either x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 3 that's what you're saying here most sometimes i don't encourage this one because most learners they miss it up there that's why i said np becomes simpler but most learners miss it what is the other option you can do this is the other option i might prefer it but it's because it can help you not to forget look at this what you can do same thing you can um here divide by 2 so that you've got 2x squared remove that 2 minus 18 over 2 is equal to 0 over 2 see I divided everything by 2 because I wanted to get rid of that so that I've got x squared minus 9 is equal to 0 but now remember x squared 9 is minus 3 squared is equal to 0 very important for you to recognize that this is actually a difference of two squares see that which is x now you take the first one x minus 3 as is and the other one is what it's x plus 3 therefore you have got two brackets x minus 3 equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0 therefore take that to the other side take that to the other side you have got x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 3 just like the previous answer that we got okay difficult not really but you just need to be sensitive in that part all right now let's look at the next one 1.5 this is 3 marks is 3 marks for a reason now look at this one if they give you something like this to say x squared minus 4x minus 3 what you need to do 
you need to arrange it as ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero now they gave you all the three so take three to the other side it's x squared minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0 that's where now you can do what is called I call it the product sum method you know some they say it gets even more confusing for them they prefer to do it like this let me do it like this for them so they will say you've got x squared minus 4x plus 3 equal to zero and they open two brackets that's the one way we are leading to open two brackets they put x here they put x here they say there's a three there and then they say there's a three they put a one there because to get three is three times one then they say to get minus four they put a negative and negative that's it i think that minus three minus that then they were saying x minus three equal to zero or x minus 1 equal to 0 take that there take that there so what is x x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 1 very fast for some but what if you don't understand what just happened there what you do you use the product sum method put a 1 there take this number and that one multiply them right and then the center number is called the sum so you're going to say product product means multiplication what is the product it's 1x squared times 3 so 1 times 3 is 3x squared and the sign is important positive what about plus plus means sum you take it as is minus 4x and then you come for factors so you're looking for factors of the product in other ways, factors of 3. What are the factors of 3 or 2 numbers that you can multiply to get 3? It's 1 times 3. Right. But now I need to add these numbers. I need to add them. Okay, let me use the blue one. I need to add these two numbers for the sum. When I add them for that plus, they must give me minus 4. So if I say 1 plus 3, I get a positive 4. But if I say minus 1, plus minus 3 if you take a calculator and say minus 1 plus minus 3 you get a what you get a negative 4 then you can write that as x squared here is minus 1x you put an x there you put an x there so it's minus 1x minus 3x that that is what is replacing that negative 4x and then plus 3 equal to 0 then you factorize by grouping you take the first two take the last two what is common in x squared minus x x is common put a bracket x into x squared it's x x into minus x is minus 1 we need to get a similar bracket now for me to get a similar bracket which is negative 1 look 3 and 3 it's 3 is common but what sign i must take out a negative so that minus 3 into negative 3x i get x negative 3 into positive 3 is negative 1 is equal to 0 the same bracket so you've got x minus 1 and then i've got x minus 3 equal to 0 then i can then say x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 3 it's up to you how you want to do it but for such i always say test your answer for example, let's say you want to test x is equal to 3. What you do is you come to the original here. Where there is x, you put 3 squared. Where there is x, you put 3. So what you are saying is you are saying 3 squared minus 4 bracket 3. It must give you 3. See, negative 3, sorry. So you see, left hand side is equal to right hand side. That means it is correct so that is how you can go about solving these now i want to give you a quick homework guys quick homework homework now for you i'm mapping these if you solve this what about if i give you this one say minus x 
x plus 2 equal to 0. Try that for me. And then similarly here, I'm giving you negative x squared plus 6x is equal to 0. And then in here, I'm giving you 2x plus 3 and then x minus 1 equal to 0. Try it. I'm giving you some homework. Try it, try it, try it. There, what do you have there? I'm giving negative half x squared and then plus, uh, what do you have here? Plus 9 over 2 is equal to 0. Try that. Okay. And lastly, or last but not least, try this one. What do you have here? I'll say x squared minus 3x uh, plus 2 is equal to 0. Try this and see if ever you are able to solve these. And then, now remember what I said? I said I've got an Instagram handle. Now the Instagram handle is confingwazi at uh, confingwazi. I almost said at Gmail. <laughs> this is Insta. All right, my handle is confingwazi. It's in quasi confingwazi. I don't know how I'm writing this. What am I saying? It's con fi and then nkw. A -Z -I. This is my Insta handle. Now solve this, take a picture, show them to me, and then I'll, I'll give you a thumbs up to say that was it. Or if you've got an error, I will correct you to say, look, take care of a few things there. So we have come to the end of our lesson. What is the next part? The next part is solving for x through completing a square. Number one, or the quadratic formula. You don't want to miss that because this takes you to grade 12 very important section. So join me in the next lesson. Thank you.